Looney Farm Guy here with a new mod for Farming Simulator 22 and this is for all platforms PC, Mac and console. I'm on PS5 on Rock Crawl for this massive massive pack of buildings and barns. The Red Barn Pack by FSG Modding and FSG Tasman 50.04 megabytes to download. It is a pack of 16. Yes, 1-6 placeables including all the uh, animal barns two silos a workshop and a bunch of sheds and we are going to go through each one of them uh, but let's have a drive around uh, i have placed them here in order that they appear on the mod hub or in the description and we will just give a quick drive by and then we're going to go through the sheds first, and I'm going to get rid of them uh, because uh, we we have all the animal pens to test out. We have a cow barn uh, that holds 150 cows. We have a sheep barn, 75 sheep. Pig barn, 150 pigs to our left. Then we have a chicken barn holds 200 chickens, beehive. Uh, 2,000 liters per day. Horse bar barn, 16 cows. Oh, I got one way out there. That one's, what's that doing out there? <laughs> uh, that was from a previous, uh, trying to figure out, get all 16 of them. Uh, then we're down into a three, though, three bay workshop. I started at the other end. Let's go down there like a typewriter left left to right then uh, next on the list is a workshop a three bay workshop oh dear not again tires are just a bit too sticky uh, then we have open garage uh, sorry drive open garage to our left open garage drive through shed open shed equipment bale storage farmhouse windmill uh, this is the small barn with silo then we have big barn silo and finally big barn storage shed right so let's go back to the um, the workshop let's start with the workshop because it's over here on the end and like as i said i'm going to do the animal barns last because i have to fill them and etc cetera, etc cetera. this is the uh three bay workshop that will be found under tools and there it is, $30,000, three bay workshop. Right, lighting. Uh, it appears the lighting should be automatic. Uh, we'll test that in a second. Doors open like thus. Here's the workshop trigger. Let's see where the, um, let's see if it, recognizes me sticking my nose in over here no right let's try drive, drive it right in all right there we go so we got customize repair only and there it is uh lighting well that's easy to test let's go here and go over to january and it appears that it's automatic lighting we should get dark in a second here there we go so there it is um automatic lighting for the workshop let's let's just keep it th at this time of day the next item is the after the three bay is the open garage this is under sheds and open oh there it is open garage 
$50,000. Automatic lighting, as you can see here. Doors. Uh, let's get our help window on. That would probably help. Uh, turn on shed lights. L3, there we go. So there is some lighting that you can turn on and off. That lighting. Uh, inside, the lights obviously are already on, so they're automatic. Right? So that's pretty simple there. It is an open garage. Where's our tractor go? Oh, it's in there. Right. Let's stay in the tractor. As we move along to the drive through shed, drive through shed as you can see there's a door up there but it's pretty much open and these lights appear to be on and it's just a big open shed drive through shed it's in sheds we got the drive through shed uh, drive through shed open shed open garage and red barn shed those are all under sheds as we get to the next one this too has automatic lighting as you can see it's just an open sided shed then i do believe this is the uh what was called bale storage automatic lighting here as well I'm going through these quickly. There's 16 of them. I'm trying to keep this short. House. Farmhouse. We have sleep trigger. You can't get in it. This is... Oh. Oh. Why is it got a basket? It's a... The wardrobe. All right. Very nice. Uh, some lighting on here two is there some lights you can switch on i guess that light doesn't work but there's a light here right that's found under farmhouses farmhouses there is there it is fifty thousand dollars just like so uh windmill this one's easy to miss but it's under uh do do production and generators and there it is fifty thousand dollars it says it produces twenty eight hundred and eighty dollars per month income and that's what it looks like as soon as you put it down it just kind of slowly starts spinning paying you right so we got the two silos we're going to consider uh do a special test with those and then we got the large red barn here that is also under sheds and that is called red barn shed fifty thousand dollars door opens automatic lighting in here too i don't see a i don't see a switch anywhere uh looks like there's an upper level however i don't see any way to get up there perhaps a telehandler might store some bales up there but that's um that's about it we have a nice a uh, covered area to the well to the left i guess and then we have this over here uh oh it's a closed end that's a drive through this one's a closed end interesting automatic lighting right so uh we're going to take a quick run around uh past the uh barns well we did show you the barns already so what i'm going to do now oh there's a beehive right so we're going to clear out this area and then we're going to start with the cow barn over here and uh, we'll tell you all about that we'll get it all set up and tested and then we will come back to you with this 
All right, so here we are with the cow barn. Cow barn is going to be found under animals and cows, hundred thousand dollars. Put it will will put it down. Uh, 150 cows. It's a pretty big barn for only 150 cows. TMR uh, hay and grass uh, straw also goes in. <clears throat> so we have filled it to 200,000 liters of uh, food and 100,000 liters of straw is what it takes. And uh, a month later, you can see the straw has gone down and the food has gone down. Plenty of room or plenty of capacity. Um, let's take a look at our um, cow barn info here and we got health food milk straw slurry yes all those manure well now this barn has a built-in manure place however it did not produce any manure no um, the straw went down um, everything else is fine for some reason uh, this isn't so we're going to place one down and see if that uh, catches it uh, it's a bit odd that that wouldn't work unless I was doing something wrong let's put this right beside where the other manure thing is supposed to be um, Right, <clears throat> so inputs. Uh, everything really, if you have loose product, goes here, and we will. Uh, I got the global global pallet. Uh, this is straw. If you want to put loose straw in, it will happily go in right here. And yes, so that's where the loose straw goes. Uh, if we go and grab ourselves a. Uh, straw bale that they, they go into a slightly different spot uh, excuse me while I uh, run over there I will show you we have an upstairs area actually let's do that let's kill two birds with one bale uh, as we go up the ramp and take a look at the inside uh, the upper level here and this is a very large upper level here uh, for I would be for straw storage because we have a uh, a big straw. Oh, let's see. Let's uh, there we go. We should be able to get that down in there, and that should disappear. Yeah. Oh, we filled it up. So that's where the straw goes right here, and now you can see our straw is full. Let's go back up there. Oh, darn it. <laughs> run uh so there's a there's a trap door up here that you can close via a circle button there we go and uh this upper area is just completely just open uh, automatic lighting up here i do believe right okay so hopping back down here <clears throat> uh let's the food there is a food trigger in the pen uh, the food does go in 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 the same place I showed you the straw going in however there is a there's a trigger over here I couldn't get anything to go in on this side but perhaps it could on the other side and there looks like there's food in there oh here's the animal uh, dialogue is right here 150 cows now was it will this work over here um yeah that's a little bit puzzling i got tmr in here it just doesn't seem to uh no i don't know what that trigger is uh the water is automatically supplied and there looks like there's food in here and there's definitely a icon here saying that uh you know food goes or something goes in there but i mean what else is going to go in there except straw or uh food and we found the straw point already and i will show you the food right here as you can see it's uh, very readily going in 
here and we can refill it to 200,000 liters. It might take a bit. 150 cows sure seem to eat a lot. Um, that's a lot of food for one month for 150 cows. I don't know, just me. Right, okay, so let's, uh, let's test out this slurry. And start feeling slurry? Yes, okay, well that's good. Uh, slurry as well, 36,000, 19,000. That's a lot of, um, it just seems like that's a lot of production for 150 cows. So it's, I'm not really complaining actually. They're high production, um, high production cows, I guess. So let's zip around the back here. And I believe that's, yes, our milk our milk filler thingy is right here and yes and very quickly do we add milk yes we do all right so also walking in here there is a separate light uh, just inside L3 we can turn on the lights in here so here's our milk area uh, pretty simple a lot of these gates open and close and thus like so There is a gate that closes and opens from inside to the... Oddly enough, there's no cows in here, but um, oh well. Um, so there we go. We got our filled back up to 200,000 and 100,000 liters of each of those. And quite simply, that's pretty much all there is to it. We're going to uh, run it one more month there with everything filled up. And we're going to see if we can capture some manure kind of sad that oh you know what let's just do one thing first in case it's invisible or something like crazy like that i'm going to go grab a trailer and uh, because the notation says the manure can only be gotten by a shovel or a trailer i'm guessing when they said shovel uh, like a front loader or a bucket or uh, automatic fill tr like a trailer like you would like this where it would say you know start filling which they all are and so start filling do we get anything no nothing nothing so it didn't collect any manure oddly enough that's kind of strange um i don't know what else i would do to uh right okay so uh let's uh, get this guy out of here excuse me moo cows and uh, we'll test this one more time to make sure or to make sure whether or not we get manure from a cow barn and we'll see you uh, in a second well now um, we have uh, gone ahead in one more month and this has not collected any manure neither has this collected any manure and we definitely have straw in there and food and it's automatic water so i don't know what else it's producing milk and slurry the health is 100 percent yeah i tried even with uh this guy over here with the straw nothing over here so uh, uh it's pretty useless well it's not totally useless uh but you're not going to get any manure from this cow barn unfortunately at least not um that i didn't so um uh, so there you go that's the cow barn the next thing we're going to look at and uh, let's just put it down right now is uh so cows oops uh let's go horses horses is next horse barn large and uh so going to uh put this down and we're going to uh set that up next so stay tuned so here is the horse barn the horse barn can be found also under animals and horses and there it is sixty five thousand dollars it will hold 30 horses 30 horses 16 16 horses why does it say 30 horses when i can only put 16 in there hmm he thinks this needs a little bit of an update uh i did put that one down yeah well now it says 30. 
Oh, that's because I was looking at the wrong one. Was I looking at the wrong one? No, 30. I can't put 30 in there. 16 is it. <coughs> Sorry, I'm choking, choking on it. I'm choking on it. 16. Well, here's your... Here's your trigger. Uh, 16 horses, not 30. Uh, you can open the gates. Um, it's their horses. Uh, all these gates open and close. Automatic lighting inside. These open and close. There is a ladder to go upstairs. I can't get up it. Oh. Oh, there we go. But, oh. It's an awful, awful ladder. Why wasn't there stairs? Oh, 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 oh. There we go. We got up here. And what's up here? Uh, nothing. We can stick our head through the roof. Um, yeah, so not even a, yeah, not even hayloft or anything. So, pretty much dead space. Uh, that was a waste of time. Now, I know I'm getting a little bit annoyed with this pack. Um, this is kind of neat, though. Uh, if you come here and press circle, it closes the, uh, it closes the shutters on the windows, all of them. Come back here, open them. Ba uh, these these doors all open. Uh, it takes straw. So if we take a look at here, straw, 25,000 liters of straw and 40,000 liters of uh, food, which would be either uh, hay, oat, and or sorghum. Um, I didn't put hay in there, so it's 60%, but you get the idea. Um, I'm not going to ride any of the horses or anything like that. Um, well, it takes straw, so I put down a manure heap to see if it makes manure. Maybe the horses will make manure, even though the cows don't. But anyways, um, yeah, that's it. It's a horse pen. There's uh, horses. Uh, so we're going to go again one month ahead, see how much food they eat, and see if they, uh, if they poop in there. So um, I'll, we'll see in a second. We're back, and well, looky here. We have horse poop. Not much, but we have some. Um, let's take a look at that. Food, uh, they ate uh, nearly nothing. Um, of course, we didn't ride them or do anything else with them. Literally, we did nothing with them. So I suppose if you're using the horses, uh, they perhaps might eat more. I have no idea. I don't play with horses at all. Um, however, there you go, um, 16 horses, not 30, and uh, they do produce horse manure, whereas the cows that are supposed to don't at all. So that's weird. Okay. Uh, anyways, on to the next one, which is going to be, I do believe, in animals, pigs. So here's the next one, pig style. Let's throw that, uh, let's just throw that over here somewhere close by where I can put stuff in it uh, easily and quickly it would be nice uh, there so we're gonna put it right there and uh, we're gonna put uh, down a uh, nope we're put on a manure catching thingy right there and uh, we're going to uh, get rid of the horses and uh, go uh, on to the pigs next all right, so here is the pig barn. I have filled it, 150 pigs. This is the pig trigger here, 150 pigs. <clears throat> Capacities are, uh, straw is 75, so they didn't use much straw, and the uh, food capacity is 100,000 liters. As you can see there, they haven't used much in a month. Um, food goes in here right here as you can see the doorways are quite narrow although uh this fellow here managed to to squeeze in there just barely uh straw bales yes it will take straw bales as you see it just took straw bale there like so did it produce manure yes we have pig manure there it is so that works well <clears throat> uh interior is pretty basic it's uh, just pretty much there it is there's not much to it 
uh, the gates do these gates open and close nope piggies won't escape uh, they are uh, they do appear in here scattered about and that's really all there is to it uh, water for all of these pens are automatically supplied <clears throat> slurry production uh, it doesn't yes there it is 9750 it says and a handy dandy slurry spout here which we will test and like so yes very good so slurry is produced and extracted and the next animal pen is going to be uh, sheep fifty thousand uh, dollars for the sheep pen and we're gonna put that right over here like this we're gonna test that next so there we go right on we'll see you in a bit all right so here is the sheep pen we showed you putting it down and where to find it uh we after one month we have uh amassed a thousand liters of wool um yeah all right so not too bad um interesting bit here uh the bales of uh, grass or hay go in here and the loose grass and hay go here here is the animal dialogue trigger 75 sheep we'll show you the bale going in and then we'll show you the capacities there we go it's already full it didn't really take much 20,000 liters of uh, either grass or hay is enough to fill this and uh, it didn't really go down that much after a month so you'll have plenty of food if uh, to keep these guys producing will will wool <laughs> and automatic lighting uh, as uh, you sure shown before now what's next oh dear uh, chickens chickens is what is next and there we go we're going to have a look at uh, chickens and what they'll do for us next uh 200 chickens in this barn placed it down there and uh we'll get that set up with it uh, with that and we'll see you in a second all right so here's the chicken pen uh, the uh animal trigger or the animal dialogue box is there automatic lighting of course uh, we have an outside kind of caged in area enclosed in the rear we have 1138 eggs was produced chicken uh, the uh, food input area is over here just like so and they didn't eat hardly any yeah now that filled up immediately 75,000 liters of food they hardly ate any at all there's plenty of capacity here for food so you'll never run out if you fill it up for sure um and that's about it that's the chicken barn so there you go everything seems to work there pretty simple it is chicken chickens are easy uh so the next animal on the list is bees and we're going to place that down there uh twenty five thousand dollars i do believe i had a, a honey um trigger around here somewhere but we'll just kind of put it right down here and we'll set there and so uh, we're going to uh, test that out next see you in a bit all right so here is our beehive and it actually has bees buzzing in it as you can see and i think it actually has a buzzing sound when you get close to it uh doors don't open um you probably don't want to go in there anyways now i did find out where i put my honey uh spawn area and after a month we've got uh four eight twelve sixteen sixteen s almost two thousand liters of honey so that's pretty close to what it said it would do uh probably recommend a larger get find yourself a modded 
um, honey spawn point a little bit larger because this one only spawns one at a time like this and you have to keep pulling them off for it to re you know respawn the the stuff so what is next well we've seen the windmill already that's nothing we need really need to test but silos are something of interest and we have two of them here we have this one uh, which is uh, let's put it over here 500,000 liters and $75,000 it is uh, 13 slots and we're also going to test this other one right away too this is 250,000 liters uh, and 12 slots on console uh, $50,000 so uh, let's um, so I'm going to set that up get rid of this other stuff here and we'll see you in a minute for my last trick <laughs> we have the silos that we placed down now this one was the uh, 250,000 do silos yes well let's have a quick look at them again because I'm losing my mind and uh, here we are so uh, to do 250 yes 250,000 now they are not multi fruits no they're not they are well we have 250,000 liters of wheat in there. We might as well go deposit. We'll show you how the deposit works in this uh, bigger one, 500,000 liters. Uh, we'll put the rest of it in here. And a uh, very easily area, area easy, easy area to uh, put in. It's nice and angled nicely. And if we just come up to here, how fast can we load it? Well, let's just take a look at the other things. Barley, oat, canola, sorghum. Yes, uh, it's just strictly the grains. That's it. And how fast does it load? Not very fast. Of course, it doesn't have to be all that fast. It only holds 500,000 liters. Uh, this one does have a barn attached to it. It is a big a big barn with um, an upper area which uh, can't be accessed, ac accessed, accessed, and it does have another side barn here. Very nice. So there's that, and uh, this one just has a small little barn on the side, something where you could park. Um, maybe a small. Oh, this one does have a access to the upper area. Uh, strictly storage. There's no deposit area or anything like that uh, there is a light I'm uh, guessing it's automatic and same with these down here door opens like so right <clears throat> and I think that wraps it up we've trusted all the barns we've looked at all the sheds and these are the two silos that come with this uh, thank you for sticking around with me if you have um, and uh, thank you all for watching and that is the 16 placeables in the red barn pack by FSG modding FSG Tasman 50.04 megabytes to download and slots as we discussed throughout the uh, test and review process thank you all for watching I'm Luna Farm Guy and remember it's only a game so till next time bye for now